Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. This is Craig Guy Sr., Ace is Fool, with the fighting series that I've been doing on the video. Um, went over uh, basic footwork so far, went over the one and two. Now we're going to uh, move up to the three and four. That's your left hook and your right hook. It can either go to the head or it can go to the body. Most of the time people get knocked out by the punch they never see, and a lot of times they are your hooks, your left hook, your right hooks. If they, uh, because you can generate quite a bit of power with uh, both of those punches because if you're rotating at the hips, moving at the ball of your feet, and you got good footwork, you can generate power no matter what your size is. Again, we're going to do a little quick uh, check on learning from the last video. I'll touch on uh, firing out from the jab and the straight right, the one, two, one, two, just following down, one, two, and now I'm in a good position, which is going to set me up for the rotation of the three, as I'm drawing back in, the two, rotate, right, get a good pop on that punch, rotate, good pop, three and a four, I can go to the head or I can go to the body, um, and I want to do some setups and I want to do good footwork, I want to get on that angle as well. Um, the one thing you want to uh, keep in mind is uh, time on contact, total body mass, the body's made up of mostly water, so when you hit to that body, Right? You're going to create that vibration. You're going to create uh, that fluid shock rate principle, and you get the good shot in there. That's why you get that good liver shot, right? So that's a three. So we're coming in, rotate three, going to rotate four, three. As you see, my feet, I'm rotating, I'm pivoting on the balls of the feet to generate as much power as I can get. Staying in a good crouch, defensive position, changing levels and going from there, all right? So, again, the three is generating the power. We got one, two, set it up from a good position. Rotate, three, rotate, four. Now, the hand position on a left hook and a right hook, sometimes people throw it straight up and down, or sometimes people will turn it over right at the last minute. A lot of times your, your power is gonna generate, uh, your, excuse me, your punch is gonna generate more power. Right when you go to clip right on that chin, you turn it over, palm down and it gives you a good hook. A lot of times to the body though, the hand's gonna stay straight up and down. We're going for those body shots. If you start working the body with a good three and four left and right hook, you're gonna bring their defense down. I don't care if you're in the ring or you're out on the street, you, take, you get somebody with a good body shot, they're immediately going to try to protect that area. The minute that happens, now you're setting yourself up for a hook to the body, hook to the head, combination, all right, I can use a number three, doing both. Left hook to the body, turn it over to the head. Left hook to the body, turn it over to the head. So in real, in, uh, real time speed, it's gonna look like this. And then uh, once I land that left hook up top, that number three, now I'm set up for a number four. You notice I'm in good position, good defense, <coughs> rotate it over. Three, four. Everything comes from the ball of the feet, rotation of the hip. That's a solid three and four, right? Working on the heavy bag, use your training. You can also use this in shadow boxing and enhancing your skills in front of a mirror. And it can also be good cardio. All right, continuing with our uh, three and four. I did a little demo on the heavy bag, talked everybody through, showed you the proper technique. Now working with a partner on the mitts, we've added another tool to the arsenal, just like we did in the other video. All right, we're going to start out with a slow rotation, ball the feet, get its rhythm and timing down first before we start blasting the bag. We'll do a three and a four. Just going to hold the mitts out to the side here, give them a good target, give them a good target, catch the punch, rhythm and timing is what we're building, getting that good rotation. You can hear them breathing, you see the rotation of the dips, all right, getting time on contact, total body mass. All right, good. Now you can see everything's happening there. Now we're gonna um, go to go ahead and let a few rip a three and a four. Good. Now it's important that if you were on the punch mid side, that you're catching the punch. All right, as part of the. Um, uh, training is that you're not just letting the 
mitts go wobbly and everywhere. You've got control of the mitts. You catch the punch as he's rotating in. All right. And then you come in, catch, 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 catch. Giving him a good target to strike. All right. So let's go again. Three and a four. Rotation of the hip. Watch the footwork. Watch the rotation. Watch the shoulder. Chin's tucked in. Everything's good to go. Three and a four. Go. Now we're going to go one, two, three, four and wrap this up. Watch the combination. Watch the rotation of the hip and the footwork. Nice and smooth again. Rhythm and timing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's a four-punch combination, focusing on the three and four with the Thule on the glove.